the SAT standardizing students, making everyone a number instead of a person, really like has driven a lot of people to madness now. We have to borrow from the rest of the world. And if we don't have an understanding of that, we can't be effective in creating new technologies that can work with this with the outside system to keep things sustaining and essentially keeping human life sustaining on Earth. I think maybe it's a kind of power, a kind of power from money, from the world, from the society, to control everyone, everyone in the world. The kids who were actually inspired all the time, or were inspired daily, was because of their art classes. Their art classes and their art teachers are really giving them motivation to actually pursue something and give them some sort of passion in being in school. Um, my piece is a, a hand, a big, heavy, white hand. And because I think like students and people like our creativity and imagination were confined. So like what is the stuff to confine us? I think maybe it's a kind of power, a kind of power from money, from the world, from the society. So I decided to do a hand to present, to like, to miss it. So, so my hand is like, my hand is like a kind of symbols, a kind of a, like power to control everyone, everyone in the world. I did this piece, it's a, of a young girl in a Catholic school outfit painting out a picture of like a punk looking girl. And uh, it's supposed to symbolize mainly the dress code and sort of standardization of scholars in any school system. And I thought I paint, or I did this best with a classic uniform girl, and she's again painting out her desire to be different from everyone else and what she's pressured to be. Uh, my piece is about students having to repress all of their creative energy and releasing it in really violent sorts of ways. The SAT standardizing students, making everyone a number instead of a person, really like has driven a lot of people to madness now. So that's my piece. And I guess yearbook photos falling into the fireplace, like they're all different people, but they look incredibly similar because, you know, in a yearbook we're made to look all the same just to compress us in a little book to have our little memories and whatnot. But really it means nothing. So that's falling into the fireplace and then blowing out the SATs because that's what's taking over our world. This is a portrait of James Brian Conner that I did for the poster for the show. And this is a large scale version of it. And um, yeah, you know, it's a three layer stencil. That was up on the wall. We were, uh, we were meant to make up backpacks that symbolized us. So uh, my backpack over there has a, uh, has a bunch of like stencil cuttings and like exacto knife blades and um, the, uh, the paint I used for this stencil, as well as uh, the posters and some um, graffiti caps. And then that's, uh, there's another student's, another student's backpack over there, which is also kind of similarly themed. And it's, uh, they sort of represent the, um, the two different sides of street art. The side that sort of like remained kind of like a criminal activity. And it's also about the uh, sort of, I guess, the, the way of life that it's commonly associated with it. And then um, on the other side we have like stuff that like Shepard Ferry has, has done, who was the guy who did the Obama image, he, um, the Obama poster. He's sort of started this whole other like more, I guess, accepted version of um, street art that uh, has kind of skyrocketed and kind of started an industry and it's just interesting going like between the two because really they're, they're really connected even though they both and it's so different. This is when we last inspired by a school assignment, a visual survey. And so what I basically did was I hit the streets of the North Bay and I asked students from elementary school to college, when was the last time you were inspired by a school assignment? And I had a chalkboard, my Polaroid camera, and some chalk and like 
I, gave, I asked them a question, they wrote their answer down, and I took a Polaroid of them. And so basically I, um, I took my Polaroids and I put them on these little cutout figures to represent the standardized student with the standardized education. So even though they're, they're all different people and all different answers and all different backgrounds, they're still in the same system, still having to take the same tests and still having to learn in the same boxed way. And it's really not working in our system. So the idea of this piece is sort of the solution to the, the flaws in the education system and the flaws that we're trying to portray inside. Um, and this is kind of the outside of the box solution to the issue. And uh, here's my backpack. Um, and everyone else had school backpacks. Um, I chose my backpacking backpack because the one of the greatest educations I ever received was backpacking every year. Being in nature taught me a lot about myself. It taught me about how the world works outside of the human world. And I, I feel like if we incorporate things that I learned into the standardized education system, we'll see a blossoming of creativity and imagination in students and a much deeper understanding of themselves and the world. Personally, I believe that it's the solution to all of the environmental and social uh, issues we face. Um, so an environmental education is a wholesome education and is the solution to our problems. Robbie was a really fun guy to work with. He, uh, I didn't know what to think of him at first. He was kind of a weird guy, but then like sitting down and talking with him a lot. He's actually a really, really cool, interesting guy. He's cool. I like his art. It was a really um, unique experience working with an artist like Robbie because he was, wasn't really afraid to push us to going outside of the box or necessarily breaking certain rules or offending anybody, but yet he was taught us how to be sophisticated about it. Having like been a, kind of like a really, I guess like been a part of like the graffiti scene in LA, it was really um, it's really interesting like working with an artist who even before I came to this school I was a fan of, I was a I was a fan of his work, and um, so I mean that was just really cool being able to work with an artist who I had like, you know I I really respected. <laughs>